I'm Howard Gimbel, and it's a pleasure to share with you some video clips on anterior capsularexis, CCC, and posterior continuous curvilinear capsularexis, PCCC. I think that the globe should always be fixed with the second hand. It can be done with forceps, as illustrated here, or with a fine Thornton ring. My preference is to puncture the capsule with the capsularexis forceps and then carry it in a counterclockwise direction, but what direction and where to start is entirely surgeon preference. This next clip shows the eye fixed with the fine Thornton ring. You can see the puncture with the capsularexis forceps. A little push ahead creates a triangle with the vertical tear in the capsule. It's easily grasped with the capsularexis forceps. A radial tear perpendicular to the incision can be hard to grasp the edge of the capsularexis. It's important to size so that optic capture or rexis fixation, as Tobias Neuhan termed it, can be utilized if necessary, if the posterior capsule uh, is compromised. Rather than puncturing with the forceps, a sharp cystotome is necessary in younger children or in children in general and in younger adults where the zonules are loose or traumatized because there's no tension on the capsule and the capsule can be tough in traumatic cases. So this is a traumatic cataract in an 11-year-old, a very cooperative child that we are doing under topical anesthesia. So you can see we're holding the eye with the second hand. <coughs> and taking the tear very cautiously. Because the zonules are more elastic, the capsule is more elastic, and one has to stop and inspect to see where the tear is progressing, relieving the tension because the capsule can be pulled centrally and the tear be going out farther than uh, expected or visualized. So much more <coughs> deliberate, cautious <coughs> approach in a child and a young person. Trapan Vision Blue is a, a real uh, asset for the white cataract. The viscoelastic I prefer in this type of cataract in young people and for me in general is uh, Helon 5 or Helon GV, a very cohesive viscoelastic, because it has the most uh, pressure effect to flatten the capsule to avoid radializing tears uh, when puncturing the capsule and when uh, taking the tear around the circumference. You can see that with that viscoelastic, the 
trypan blue can be just smeared onto the capsule under the helon without staining the cornea. And I usually aspirate a little bit, which was edited out here. And then add more viscoelastic before starting the capsular rexus to make sure that there's good uh, pressure to flatten the the capsule and keep the contents, if liquid, in the capsule to not allow it to obscure the view when continuing the tear. So with the proper viscoelastic one can achieve a successful CCC even in a very intumescent liquid cataract. The same techniques for anterior capsular rexus can be applied to the posterior capsule. Here you see the completion of a child a PCCC done purposely to use optic capture and avoid secondary pacification of the visual axis. But here's a young adult with a posterior capsular fibrotic plaque. This could be left and yagged later, but also it can be removed with PCCC technique. You saw that after the initial puncture, the helon is put through the small opening to protect the vitreous face while the PCCC is continued and completed so that the vitreous is undisturbed, whereas a YAG capsulotomy would disturb it. So anterior and PCCC are essential and allow capsule fixation if in-bag fixation is not possible.